One just chased it down. This could be ugly. It's a whole school, actually. They're all over it. Ooh! Did I underestimate this fish? He up? Oh, guys, it, it's a jumbo. Every time I have good perch fishing like this, I don't take it for granted, and I'm just speechless. Well, it is a beautiful March day. It's March 16th and the sun's shining, but it is a little windy. It was forecast to be very windy today, but we made it to Lake X and I'm very excited to do some fishing. We've come here a few times this year already and it had unbelievable perch fishing and some great pike fishing as well. We caught our limit in absolute jumbos and were able to throw back a couple 14 inches, 13, 12s, and just unbelievable. I haven't had perch fishing like that in years. So we're gonna get all set up. We're right in the exact same spot. It, uh, there's deeper water behind us, kind of comes up into you know six foot flats here and they seem to be coming up here and feeding on the freshwater shrimp. So I'm really excited. Um, it's gonna, there's not much left in the ice fishing season, but we're trying to go out with a bang. We're gonna be spending one or two nights on the, on the ice. We're not sure yet in the tent, but uh, I'm really excited. So let's get the Huntworth bibs on, drill some holes and get after it. Well, open up the rod case. I brought four rods this time. Aren't gonna need them all, but I mean, this is our number one weapon of choice here. It's just a nice light Fenwick rod. It's four to six pounds. The, it's just a small Fluger reel on here. And this is what I've been using all ice fishing season. The first season with it, it's been working great. But rather than a small spoon, I do like using a small spoon. These perch have been a little more finicky. We're just using a little tungsten jig always works well this one's pink with a little bit of gold on top gonna throw some maggots and wrap a mealworm around there and man oh man those jumbo perch last time were absolutely hammering that and uh, the smaller ones take it too so I'm gonna get that all rigged up I also have another rod here it's a little heavier <laughs> but I'm gonna use it for perch as well with the bobber with another little tungsten jig I'm gonna set that out about you know eight yards in front of me and that'll probably be my two rods while I'm perch fishing here in Alberta, we're, we're allowed to run two rods each, and Dad's probably gonna be running two perch rods over there as well. So, got the holes punched, let's get after it. Here we go, first drop of the trip. My line's gonna be all, have some memory, so I'm gonna pull it out and get it down there. Maybe no quick bite. <laughs> last, last time, in this actually, in the shallow water here, we had to be fairly patient, but patience sure paid off because when one came in, it was quality over quantity. Let me tell you, every perch we caught right here in the shallow water was a jumbo. So hopefully that's the case today. We'll just, you know, be patient, plug away at them. If not, in about 12 feet of water, it was a lot more quantity over quality. There was a lot of perch catching lots of little ones, but they were pretty tiny. So gonna keep at her and uh, hopefully have a good day out here. Well, little update, it's been a few hours and we've been fishing, but it's been super slow. Just a few little ones, dad actually pulled up a keeper, one keeper, good eater perch, but, and uh, just a few smaller jack, but we're gonna set up the tent now. And what we've noticed on this lake is it's primarily an evening bite for these perch. They just, I've had them, I've been marking them all day coming in just like I was. Big mark coming up to my hook, not taking it. So I'm hoping tonight the feed gets on and these big jumbo perch come up onto this hump and start hammering our hook. So we're gonna set up the tent while there's a bit of downtime. The wind calmed right down, it couldn't be any nicer out. So all that's left is hopefully to catch some fish, but we're gonna get the big tent set up for our evening camping spot. The cot's thrown in and we'll be ready to camp out tonight before the good fish, hopefully. So, sun's kind of getting lower in the sky. It's getting later in the day and it's been real slow, I'm not gonna lie, but this hole right here has been hot kind of all day with little ones and uh, we're just can't get it down there without catching one right now, but uh, you know, they're just real little perch. Not, uh, not keepers, but they are fun to catch on a slow day. A beautiful little perch. Gonna let that guy go, but I, I do know if you catch a small enough little ones, eventually there are big ones in the lake. They're gonna hit it. So just gonna keep plugging away here and maybe we'll catch a nice one. 
but man, it couldn't be much nicer out. It's dead calm and sun shining. Gosh, gotta love ice fishing in March. The only thing better would be some jumbos now. Well, I was just hole hopping while dad was doing the same. Dropped it down, he came in screaming on the sonar. So, looks like there's a school down there. We're gonna see if we can catch a few more, but great eater size perch. Here comes one right now. There we are. Oh my God, he's digging, he's digging. That right there, guys. <sighs> Beautiful, you can see him come in on the sonar just and just hammered it and he was just digging. Let's get her back down there. <laughs> We've caught three that are worth eating so far. Pretty awesome. You can have a little catch and cook later in the tent. This ain't a pike, we gotta, uh, it's digging. <sighs> Guys, that is what you dream about when you're perch fishing right there. That's a, all a 12 incher. Seen him come in on the Garmin sonar and just hammered it. Look at that guys, absolute gorgeous perch. Came in and hammered it. This is the hot hole right now. We can catch a few more of these we'll be eating real good but just an absolute beautiful perch oh, absolutely cranked it digging 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 it's a jump another beautiful eater right there's a perfect example of not taking it not taking it slowly raising that lure above his head and it's like it's going away and they just get aggressive and chomp it. <laughs> that tungsten right there has caught a lot of nice perch so far this season. Not huge, but just a perfect eater. <laughs> hole hopping back to the lucky hole from last time, we'll see. It hasn't been so lucky today, but we got a mark coming up. Oh, guys, digging. Another beautiful perch. Look at that, guys, beautiful nice eater they're acting like walleye in this lake almost the walleye winter killed and uh the perch have excelled and they come up into the shallows to feed at night up up off the drop off a lot of freshwater shrimp in here and <laughs> full moon i was gonna say the other day i was like i haven't seen the moon in forever bing right there full moon more than three some's chasing it some's chasing it might be a big I think so, it's a huge mark. Lots of marks down there, gotta get it down. He's back. Oh, guys. Oh, beautiful perch, look at that, yes. Oh, I think I missed him and then uh, he stayed down there and I just absolutely walloped him. Unbelievable, beautiful Alberta perch right there. N another eater, baby, look at that beautiful perch the perfect eating size right there that's how I like it hook just barely exposed if the hooks not exposed I think it's a hard time hooking them but right there maggots mealworm curled over wham engulfed let's get it down there Here we go. right oh guys another one now they're beautiful perch guys the night bites on we waited all day for this Oh, perfect eating size, you know. They're not the 14 inch spawning perch, but just, you know, nice 10 inches. Add them to the pile. Oh, just charged it. This is a big fish. Oh, he's caught in the sonar. Look at that, another jumbo. This guy's a fat one, got a wicked cool dorsal. Lit up by a beautiful Alberta sunset. <laughs> Unbelievable. That one was finicky. I worked him for a while. Finally raised it above his head. Wham. Took it. Add him to the pile. These Huntworth bibs have all kinds of nice pockets. Not only are they sweet for hunting, but good for fishing. Got my bait in one, phone in another, knife and Camillus knife in another. Ready to go. This is a good fish. Digging. 
boy. Oh, they're all the same beautiful size. Unbelievable. Gosh, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. Every time I have good perch fishing like this, I don't take it for granted and I'm just speechless. Like it doesn't happen. It's not easy finding Alberta perch. These, we don't have an overabundance of good perch lakes and you gotta keep them fairly quiet or else they do get fished out. But you know, we're gonna keep enough to eat here. I'm approaching up on my limit and then I think uh, dad's gonna give her a whirl and see if he can pound a few. But the night bite's happening. We probably got ooh, 25 more minutes and we'll be hopping in the tent to watch some sports for the night. But, oh, beautiful. Oh, one just chased it down. This could be ugly. It's a whole school actually. Ooh, did I underestimate this fish? He up, oh. guys, he just up bit it and it felt small at the beginning and it, it's a jumbo. Oh. Gosh, look at that. Yes, pink, that pink tungsten, golden. Look at that, beautiful, <laughs> so sweet. They're all over it. There we go. Good fish. Oh, guys, another nice keeper. Look at the fish down there right now. It is a feeding frenzy. Good enough. Let that. Charging. There we go. Oh, dig. Oh, look at that thing fight. That one fought like crazy. I might release this one though. This one's not quite a keeper. Beautiful perch still, but he needs to grow one or two more years. That was so awesome. What a first good day on the lake. We're gonna spend the night and tomorrow, hopefully the morning bites, oh, it's okay, not as good, but we should be able to catch a few then, but dad's turn. Well, the bite's definitely slowing down a little bit ever since dad took over. I mean, the sun's just, it's set. So they're just, I think the bite's dying off. They're still down there and uh, hopefully dad can nail one right here. Oh, here look at that. He's all over it. Dad's got one all over the sonar. There it is. Finally. Oh, it's a big one. Get dude. out, get him up. Oh, this is a big fish. Nice. Oh, you're full of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little guy. He's huge. At least I got caught ready, so it felt big. He's gorgeous, though. Look at that. Oh, that was some food. That was foolery. I thought it was a jumbo, and the way he was fighting, he's like, it's ya. big. Came up the hole. Wasn't so big. Still fun to catch. Oh, we're you just, had me going. I yeah. thought it was bigger than that. Actually. We're gonna keep fishing. Hope we keep catching. And uh, it's been good. Get better than this. <laughs> no, it don't. It's so amazing. This time of year, it's just gorgeous. Well, the bite slowed down a lot. I mean, there was a good half an hour where we couldn't even keep them off the hook with nice keeper perch, but definitely the sun set. It's starting to get dark. Be a good time for walleyes, but I think they winter killed quite bad out of here. So we're going to call a wrap for tonight. Won't be back out perch until tomorrow morning, but we're going to get all the tent all rigged up and ready to go watch some hockey, basketball, clean and uh, clean some fish, cook some fish, and enjoy the rest of the night. All right, step one was to catch the fish. We succeeded in that, luckily. Step two, clean them, which Dad's doing right now. Got the catch and cook ready to rock and roll, and uh, should be a good little fish fry. Well, after a long day of fishing, is there anything better than some fresh fish? We worked up an appetite and we're gonna be doing some catch and cooking. So we're gonna put it in this catch and cook original batter and uh, the, the fish is already wet, so we're just gonna put it in this bowl here. We're gonna put a pretty good amount in this bowl, gonna make sure it's good and covered here. Get this nice perch fillet in there. I believe the more batter you get on here, the crispier it gets, but that's gonna be good. It's well seasoned enough. I'm just gonna do that to every filet. And then we'll get the Coleman stove fired up, throw some butter in this frying pan, and then fish will be sizzling. Good. 
I mean, ideally it'd be nice to have some oil, but this butter is going to do just fine. We already got sizzling fish. Get it in there. Well, the fish is nice and crispy. Let's head on inside and eat. Just got the heater rolling. I mean, it's been so warm, but it's going to be nice once we take our bibs off. But, oh, this fish smells so good. First taste test here. Nice and crispy. Oh, fresh perch, tasty. Wow, that's good. This is like candy. And this is why perch are such a popular fish. They're such good table fare. I mean, walleye perch, any of the pan fish, but I don't know, perch is definitely my favorite. They're fun to catch and delicious to eat. And we're gonna enjoy this little snack, fire up some TV on the iPad, probably watch some sports and uh, just chill for the rest of the night till morning. We don't got nothing to do. Out on the ice, only ones out here. Doesn't get much better, but I'm gonna enjoy this. You wanna bite? Well, I wouldn't say this is glamping, but this is good enough for me. I got my cot right here. Dad's cot's over here. We got some foam foam mats down on the ground, the buddy heater running, and we're watching wild TV on the iPad. Doesn't get much better than this. We're gonna just have a quick meal, get some rest, and we'll be ready to slay some perch in the morning. Come here, you. We will not have a problem at all keeping our eaters. Oh, she beautiful out this morning. What a nice night in the tent. And uh, the sun's just getting ready to crest in the horizon. And we're gonna come out here and hopefully catch some fish in the morning. Um, last time we were here, we caught our biggest perch in the morning. It wasn't as eventful, but man, there was some big mamas coming up here. So we're gonna get the line wet and hopefully hook some, but geese are honking. Sun's about to come up. All we need now is some fish. Well, we're back at the lucky hole this morning. Gonna see if there's anything down there. Last last night, this hole sure produced a lot of fish, so who knows? Oh yeah, they're already chasing it up. Hopefully it's a nice one. Yeah, nice fish. Ooh. That did not take long, guys. All right. Well, there he is. <laughs> I thought it was a little better than this little guy, but uh, nice first fish in the morning. And uh, man, he was really aggressive and just absolutely hammered it. So, gonna get him back and hopefully catch his granddad. Look at all the fish down there. Marking lots. There's bottom and just lots of stuff going on above it. So, that one mark's pretty big. Charged it. Get on there. Oh, this one's just digging down. Another <laughs> little guy. Oh, that was cool. Man, they're they're hungry this morning, boy. There we go, kept my mealworm. Let that beautiful perch grow another day. Well, the bite's definitely slower this morning than last night. It was similar 10 days ago as well. But I'm just hoping we can get one jumbo to roll in and hammer it. It's a bunch of, a bunch of little ones down there. Coming in, tapping it, hooking the odd one, but gonna do a little bit of hole hopping here and see if we can't uh, manage to get a good one. Oh, it's a I don't know what this is, guys, but it's going crazy. Oh, it's smelling good. Here, Mike. Beautiful smell. That. He's blind in one eye. The one-eyed schnatty. <laughs> Just hooked him perfect, popped the lip. That's the nice thing about the sonar is you see the perch scatter and you see the pike come in and it's just a big bar and I kind of was able to adjust, raise it above his head and he took it right away. Beautiful snot rocket. Very healthy too, they're eating lots of perch I'm sure. And uh, we're gonna get this guy back in there. But Awesome little fight. And there he goes, that'll be a nice one in a few years, but when you catch a snot rocket on a little perch rod, man, it puts up a fight. Let's get her back down there. He's on there. Oh, 
beautiful perch, guys. It's been slow today. I mean, uh, they just haven't been, they're down there. There's a lot of little ones. Kind of starting to weed through the little ones, get a little bit, of, a little bit better fish there. But I think, you know, we're just going to keep fishing, get a suntan. This guy's going to go back in the water to grow another day, but just a beautiful perch. There he goes. Changed my presentation up a little bit with colors and it seems to be working. Sometimes it's a, it's a good thing to change up. Oh, another same quality of perch here. Just below a keeper. <laughs> nice to catch though. Man, it's nice seeing all these age classes. These guys, if uh, they don't get cleaned out too bad, they'll be real good next year. Beautiful perch. Look at that perky, perky dorsal. Well, that's a wrap on our little fishing excursion. It was a great overnighter on the lake. I had so much fun catching those perch last night. And we got a few in the bucket to eat, but we just packed up camp, percolated some old smokes coffee, and now we're gonna head on home and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. But spring is in the air. I don't know how many more days we have left out on the water, but I think we're gonna try to get out a few more and we might have to walk out. But overall, it was awesome and uh, I'm very thankful for last night. <laughs>